Welcome everybody. Uh, we have a problem. Uh, we have a beautiful list of addresses of McDonald's and Burger King restaurants in Berlin, London and Paris. And we want to put them as markers on a map like this. But um, to be able to put them on a map like this, we need latitude and longitude values, which we don't have. We only have the address values. And that's exactly what today's video is about. And we'll figure out together today uh, how we can transform an address to latitude longitude values. Um, another term for it is, is geocoding. And we'll use Python requests and pandas as helper library and MapQuest API, which offers a geocoding API to actually transform these addresses to latitude longitude values. Again, you can watch this video standalone if you're interested in how to transform addresses into latitude longitude values or as part of my series where we scraped these addresses from the web in the video before and we'll have a look on how we get the latitude longitude values of these addresses today and then in the next video put them as markers on the map have fun before we start coding let's have a look on mapquest api which is the api we'll be using map so simply type in mapquest api and it's it should be the first hit on google um, you can directly get your free API key here and register. And you see they have a free tier here with 15,000 transactions per month for exactly zero dollars, which is really nice. And they have a good documentation over here um, with a lot of APIs. One of them is the geocoding API, which we'll use. And you see here, whenever you provide an address to the API, it returns latitude and longitude values like this. So let's start coding. Here is our starting point and the list of addresses of McDonald's and Burger King restaurants in a CSV file. And I'll provide this file in the video description that you can directly start here if you haven't watched the video up front. First, let's create a new file, getgeo.py. Second, let's import the libraries we need. We need the pandas library for data analytics, data display, data wrangling, and so on. We need requests to actually do the request to the API and we need JSON to be able to handle the result from the API accordingly. Great. Uh, once we have done the imports, we will structure the code in three steps. First step would be reading in the restaurant CSV. Second step would be do the actual API calls and attach latitude and longitude values to the CSV. And last step is again saving this file to a CSV back. All right, let's start at the beginning. First, we need to read in our restaurant CSV into a pandas data frame. So let's do this. So once uh, we've read in the file, let's quickly print it to console to get a feeling about the data. So here you can see all our restaurants from zero McDonald's in Berlin, Germany until 145 uh, uh, Burger King restaurant in London. Uh, to not always show all the data, we can make use of pandas head function Let's execute it again. Then we only get the four, uh, first five records here. All right, reading the data is quite easy. Um, but now we can directly come to the complex part, doing the API calls, getting the latitude longitude values, and then in the end, save the file back. Let's have a look on how the API works. So, um, Fortunately, the documentation is quite good. So when you look here for the geocoding API, you can click on the get, you get the URL you need to call and let's directly copy it. And we already see the parameters we need to um, hand over in the request, which is a key. And you'll only get this when, when you re register here with MapQuest API and the location, which is actually the address itself. So let's try to call it first thing is to do a get request to the URL which we just copied. Second is we need to hand over certain parameters, which we of course need to define first. So 
So we'll do the um, get request here to the URL and hand over these parameters which we define here. The parameters itself contain your API key which you get once you register and the, uh, the location contains the address itself. So let's demonstrate the API and I'm entering my API key here and the security fanatics around you don't worry I will revoke the, the API key right afterwards and let's hand over an example address here from our CSV file uh, perhaps write this one here which we use as address uh, let's try to execute it but first let's print the response to the console all right let's start it Invalid syntax line 13. Seems we did an error here. Ah, yes, we forgot this character in here. Let's try again. Et voila, we are getting a response 200, which means the call itself was successful. Um, but let's perhaps understand what's in the response. For this, we slightly need to change the code. So first of all, let's comment out this here and let's get the response text and execute it one more time. Et voila, we'll get the actual response content with a lot, a lot, a lot of data. And somewhere within here, you see, we get the latitude and longitude values, which we need. So let's try to figure out how to get them out of all this content here in the next step. At this point, it's time to make use of our third library. We imported JSON, so like this, it's really a mess to read all this and, and dig through it. So let's actually um, transform the response text and we are getting here into a JSON object, which makes it more easy to read. So like this, we define a new variable data, which contains, yeah, like it says, our, our data, and we'll transform the response text into a JSON object with a JSON loads. Let's simply print it out and execute it again. And you see our data again, but now in a JSON format. We already recognize that the latitude longitude values here seems to be within the results array here um, and within here is a location and then we get uh, latitude longitude values here below in the let long so perhaps let's directly access the results uh, as we don't need the status code copyright and and so on let's directly try to access the results here and execute it one more time so you see this stuff in the beginning, um, status code and so on. We got rid of it. We directly start here at the location and let it do longitude values come closer to what we need. All right, now to uh, actually get the latitude and longitude values, it becomes a little tricky. So what we need to access is this let long with which holds the latitude and longitude values. For this, actually, we need to access the zeroest object of this array, the provided location. Within, we need to access the locations object. Again, with it, the zeroest entry, this array here. And then within this element, the, the lead long. And from within the lead long, we need the lead and long values. Um, sounds complex, but it looks quite easy uh, right away. Let me quickly type it into the, the code. So what I did here is what I just told you. Uh, basically, it's accessing this LED and LNG value and printing it to the console right afterwards. Let's run it. You see, we are getting our latitude and longitude values printed to the console. Now we are basically prepared to execute it for 
all our entries of the CSV file from within our uh, data frame. So this would be the next step right now. So we start with a loop to loop through each and every row of our data frame. Uh, and let's delete the print command first of all here. So this command will basically go through each and every line of the data frame. And let's execute the same steps we just did for a um, random address for each of the rows, basically. But we don't want to have this hard-coded address anymore. We basically want to construct the address based on each row individually. So let's quickly do this and create a new variable containing the address. So basically we are accessing the data frame here uh, at each row um, and we uh, query the uh, required columns with a, with the term street, zip, uh, city and country here. So let's start with the street and then do the same for the zip code, the, the country and the city. All right, let's see if this works as expected and let's quickly comment out the API calls to avoid unnecessary, unnecessary calls here. Um, so let's first of all see if the loop is working. And you see it is. So for each of the row of the data frame we are getting the address. Great. So then we can actually delete the comment again, delete the printout here and actually hand over the API address into our location of the API call itself. So this should give us the latitude and longitude values for all the addresses. Let's again try it and print it out. And you see, and this might now take time, we get for each of the 150, 45 uh, entry, the latitude and longitude values. Let's wait for it. Finally. That's great, so it works as expected, but actually after closing the script, those values would be gone. So we need to save them to our data frame and then back to our CSV. Let's do it. So instead of printing them to the console, we are storing them into the CSV, into the columns of lead and long here, and we are using data frame comments for this. So basically, uh, we just specify for each row in the column latitude, longitude, we are storing the latitude and longitude values. And once we did this, uh, after the loop, we can save back the data frame to CSV and let's give it a new name. And execute it. Let's see. Again, it takes now a lot of time because it needs to uh, yeah, compute all the requests for all the rows. It might take a time, but we only need to do it once because afterwards we save it in our file and good to go. We are done. Now I'm curious. Let's have a look on the file. It's created here, restaurantsgeo.csv. Let's go in and you see we got the latitude and longitude values for all of our addresses. Great! That was the target of today. The next video will be putting these latitude longitude values on a map as markers. So to get markers for each and every McDonald's and Burger King restaurant in Berlin, Paris and London. Thank you for watching.